I'm Van Hughes. Hi, and I'm Shelley Canwright. Welcome to NASA Connect, the show that connects you to the world of math, science, and NASA. Right now, we're coming to you from the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum located in Washington, D.C. And Shelly, this is the perfect location to talk about the shape of planes. Hey, that's right, Van. If there's one place where you can experience the entire story of flight, this is it. The National Air and Space Museum is home to 356 aircraft where collectively they reflect the science of flight. The museum is home to the first airplane developed by the Wright brothers. Notice how the propellers are in the back and the stabilizing wings are in the front. There's the Fokker T2, the first plane to cross America coast to coast, and Charles Lindbergh's Spirit of St. Louis, the first airplane to fly non-stop across the Atlantic. Then there are other planes which pushed aircraft design even further. The Bell X-1 is a cross between a plane and a rocket. It was the first airplane to break the sound barrier. The Grumman X-29 has backward-looking wings. It goes so fast that the wings were deliberately designed to be unstable in order to enhance the aircraft's maneuverability. The museum also houses the Voyager. Notice how long the wings are. This wingspan ratio enabled pilots Dick Rutan and Jeannie Yeager to fly non-stop, non-refueled around the world. Boy, Shelley, there are a lot of different shapes here. Imagine what the Wright brothers would have designed if they would have had access to today's math and scientific tools. Hey, you're right, Van. You know, it's important to know that science and technology are closely related. Our need to know and understand drives scientific research and leads to the development of technological products. Well, Shelley, that's what our show, Shapes of Flight, is all about today. You'll see this interaction between math and science technology as we look at the process of airplane design. Hey, you know what? We're going to talk to some NASA researchers who will show us the process and the tools to research, develop, test and evaluate airplane designs. They'll share some challenging problems that they're working on and their solutions, which might result in configurations for future aircraft. And later on, you'll be able to interact live with our researchers by calling in or emailing your questions to the researchers in the NASA Connect studio. We'll also be joined by students from Jones Magnet Middle School in Hampton, Virginia, who will conduct a flight experiment and share their data with us. And there's much more to this program on the internet. Whenever you see the NASA Connect website appear on the screen, that will be your clue to check out the site for more information, fun, and activities relating to our discussion. All right, and so Van, my question to you, have you ever wanted to fly like a bird? Of course. <laughs> you have? Well, there's one place I know of that's as close to flying like a bird as you can get. It's in North Carolina, not far from where the Wright brothers flew the first airplane. How would you like to go there and learn about the four forces of flight? Well, sure. All right, first off, can you name the four forces? Okay, we have drag, lift, weight, and thrust. Hey, that's right. Drag is a force which slows the forward movement of an airplane as it pushes through the air. Lift is created when the air pressure above a wing is less than the pressure below it. Thrust is created by a power source which gives an airplane forward motion. And weight is a force of gravity pulling an airplane down. Well, you can learn about these four forces in a real hands-on way, like by hang gliding. Interested? Well, how long will it take us to get there? Oh, about as fast as I can snap my fingers. You well, I'm, I'm all ready. Ready to go. <laughs> all right then, gang. Well, I'm going to send Van on assignment to Jockey's Ridge State Park in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina to experience flight firsthand. In the meantime, I'm going to North Carolina also. I'm going to Dare County to talk with some experimental aviators who are pushing the envelope of flight just like our early aviation pioneers. Let's go. 